Yo, what's up, guys? Eki here. NHL 23 is here. My first online game. I'm so excited. I'm playing against Kenu, the owner of Sports Gamer. He organizes some great NHL leagues, but we are not giving any mercy here. Come on. I'm playing with Columbus. Because, you know, they had the big sexy signing in the, in the offseason with Johnny Goodrosa. I want to test them out. Oh, we can pass quickly again. Oh my god. I've been waiting for this cut row. <laughs> Defensively is tough. We can't uh, really use the poacher anymore. Look at our guys lost down like crazy when we pressed it. We have to figure out something else to do. <laughs> okay, exposed. What a hit. Oh, he's injured. First period over already. Nothing happened. I know this year in online versus it's three minute periods instead of four. And uh, I really noticed that. What a check. Cylinder. Let's give and go. Give and go. What a play. Damn. Good passing play there. What a save by Skoli first. But Varacek was there in the rebound. Cover go. Saucer. What a Damn, pass. What son. a play. <laughs> That's a sexy goal right there. God we got our first power play of the game. Let's try this new 1-3-1 one, one strategy. Let's see what this is like. In the last couple NHLs, I haven't really liked the power play strategies. I feel like every single one is missing something, so... Let's see if this is better. Good row. Line is there! Ooh, seems good. Seems good. We had basically two one-timers on both sides. For a check to the wing. Nice. Let's find God row. This is a one-timer. There we go. Free zero, baby. Let's try the active skills. The okay, case still works if you position yourself properly. I've noticed a couple bugs in the game already, but I'll talk about them after. Oh, nice sauce. What a save by Mercedes. One thing I've noticed, goalies are very good at cross creases this year. They, they saved us quite a bit. Ah, uh, nice hit there. I think they're trying to limit one-timer goals a bit this year. Goalies otherwise seem, seem quite weak, at least in the beta. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll talk more about my thoughts after the games. Let's find line. I'm not sure what to do on defense. I guess we just have to position ourselves and uh, make hits when we can. Hold checks are tough because you lose all your speed. There we go, just like that. Oh, he's passing that. Nice play. McKenna is coming back, man. Oh no. He's in my zone again. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> nice block. We need some defense here. <laughs> no. Ooh. Final minute. We need to protect this lead. But how? I don't know how to defend. <laughs> Stay in front. Skill is on. <laughs> Boracek. Kadra. Zilinger. Roslovic. There we go. That's game. We won our first online game. <laughs> Come. We will play a best of three because the games are so short, man. 12 minutes in total. Or actually 9 minutes. 3 minute periods. I'm playing with the Leafs this time. My favorite team. Hello, Matthews. Bunting. Oh, what a play. Come on, Michael. We need to play better here than the first game. First game was way too tight. I feel like skill zoning, unfortunately, will be the meta this year. I have a feeling, because ball check is so bad. Hitting is good, but... <sighs> every hitting you... Get used to the level! Nice goal! And now I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, hitting gets you out of position so much, so I feel like... With the project being bad, a lot of players will invert back to, you know, skill zoning a lot. Nice Murray. Come on, Matt. We need those saves next year. <laughs> Got to say, Leaves is a thousand times better team than Columbus was. Matthews. Matthews. Oh, Matthews. Spinorama. Oh, what a, what a save. What a good save. Are you kidding me? Good intercept. Come on, Gerdana. Nice. Gerdana. Nice passing. Careful. Let's get behind the net. Oh, what a beautiful play. Come on. One thing I have noticed. The goalies are pretty slow moving behind the net. I have a feeling that this year from behind the net from those exact same plays like that, we could see a lot of goals. Young Croc. Young Croc. Young Croc. Oh. <laughs> Want to try something a bit more nice? How do you do the new Sacrest flip? We probably should uh, try that. I don't know how to do it. I have no idea. Tavares, get some passing play. Oh, the quick passing. You couldn't do that in the last NHL. With the lesser passes, you just couldn't. Nice call that. Oof, what a toad trick. Warner, Saucer. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, welcome to our NHL. 
<laughs> what happened there? Oh my god, that was so ugly. And now my players are stuck together. Five seconds. Score one more. Careful. They can't get through. All right. Good games to get on. Look at this. They have fixed ragging in NHL 23. When you're in your zone for two minutes or longer, your player stops skating. I'm trying to skate full speed in these examples, but my guy just doesn't move. This goes away when you lose the puck. Oh, amazing. Okay, first thoughts. First of all, I noticed a couple bugs, but I'll talk about the gameplay first. Strictly the gameplay, your players feel very similar to what they did to NHL 22. The main differences are passing feels smoother, it's faster, it's easier. Goalies move a bit different. Behind the net, they felt super slow, but to the cross crease, they were felt like they were all over the place. Defense is where I noticed most of the difference. When you poke, your player just loses speed. Hits felt very OP. When you made a hit on somebody, they stumbled pretty easy. And they lost the puck pretty easy. I felt like when the player stumbled, you could do those second chance opportunities, but... Uh... We obviously don't know how to really use that yet. Yeah, I got to say, I feel like it will be a skill zoning year. Couldn't really four check uh, with the lack of bow check. Hitting was good, but yeah, that can make you out of position very easily. So I think uh, we will see a lot of skill zones this year. At least that's my first, first thought. For gameplay to be able to say more, I need to play more games. Can't say much yet. Then the box. Okay, I got this game two days early. So these might be fixed, but if they're not, Oh. We had to play matchmaking games with Kenu, because when he invited me to the lobby and I tried to change lines on the left side of the screen, it showed me Kenu's lines and strategies on the right side, and I couldn't change them at all. And we tried a couple different lobbies, and it was still the same, so I really hope that's fixed. Otherwise, what do you do in a versus tournament? <laughs> the other guy can't edit lines and strategies. Then, in the game, the strategies are misplaced in the strategy bar. Here you see an example. Look at the defensive zone strategies. In the past NHLs, it's been collapsing first, staggered, and then tight point, right? This NHL, it's staggered, tight point, and collapsing. But the strategies still work like they did in the past. Meaning that in NHL 23, staggered means collapsing, tight point, means staggered and collapsing means tight point. Do you get what I'm saying? The strategies are misplaced. And this was the same, I believe, in the neutral zone strategies. So some of the strategies are misplaced. Keep it in mind when you start playing this game. And if they don't fix it. Also, I know some of you care about this. The small lags that happened last year in peer-to-peer -peer games still happen. So I hope they fix that as well. Small self-plug here in the end. For NHL 23, follow all of my channels. YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. There will be lots of content everywhere. Also, I have another YouTube channel, Eki Clips, where I post smaller clips. But yeah, all right, there's the video. <laughs> have a great day and see you next time.